old papers, old scrapbook papers, scrapbook papers that you don't know how to use, papers that you don't like anymore, scissors and you have glue, that's our number five reason, then the pen, papers with the edges design, you don't know how to use it, and the last one, black and white paint. My beautiful friends, how many of you remember this gorgeous project and how many of you remember this one? Those two projects were created as collagen tile series and I think it's about time to make a page number three. Today's page will be made in this wine book. If you're new to my channel, you may not know that I'm using just a regular book and this one is called Enjoying Wine. Regular book from thrift store. I just love the size and uh, shape of the page actually, that it's uh, square, that it's this big. I just love it. I've been creating in this book for the past years and I'm back to it because I really wish to finish it. We all are waiting for the flip through the whole book with all these pages. My next step is to deciding what are we going to do on our page really. Get your focal point and I'm thinking about these flowers, these leaves, greenery, red colors. I also have these flowers so I'm hopeful for using those and also I love this one. It's a gorgeous paper. Then we have lovely text that I'm hoping to use. Some brown for vintage feel and some sort of a lacy effect paper. So that's what I'm going to do. I will start off by fussy cutting this one as my, fo as my focal point and I will be very much precise here because I really wish to use most of it, most of these leaves and I'm thinking to have it maybe here like that or maybe I'm gonna half it and I also will fussy cut this one because I really wish this to be on the page as well. At least I'm gonna try and see which elements are gonna be matching my page. I'm thinking about sort of uh, maybe our um, focal point to be on the side and some writing here and then the collage but then I'm thinking is this not too big for the page we shall see I was fussy cutting offline uh, without recording my chats because <laughs> that is a lot of fussy cutting but I wanted to show those scissors those are fantastic I'll give you the link to them as well these are singer I'm gonna try to see if I can find them I got them as a gift and I really thought that my Tim's scissors my team holds are the best of the best but these are phenomenal and I keep on saying that they're really sharp sharp enough that it's actually dangerous you really have to be very careful because if you just not even try it they do cut very very well I'm not too sure what I'm gonna use however I have fussy cut it so fussy cut it no fussy cut so we have it all I love and adore this totally and I just had this vision. I had vision for this page. Let's grab the vintage one as well. And I'm just thinking to cut it smaller pieces, smaller elements. And I'm just also thinking, will I add the textbook? So I'm thinking to get those pages out and make the background from those pages. I think so. I love the vintage um, background from the textbook however obviously the wine book it's not vintage and it's colorful and I wish to get rid of that so by saying it I'm thinking GGG something like that then we have the starting point and we can do the collage in tiles from the elements as well I'm gonna also use my music notes pages and I think I'm gonna do a little bit of a mix and match for my background and the actual tiles are gonna be created from I think this paper followed by this paper and I think it's a great opportunity for you to use the papers you may not like or you don't know how to use where to use and stuff so I'm kind of jumping into vintage feel with this I think all of that works great so we have browns grays greens sagey colors and vintage and dirty and all so I'm gonna make squares from these and background from the old book pages in the middle just in case I'm gonna add uh, my masking tape because um, I think the book is heavy enough right now so I rather have a little bit of a a little bit of helping helping hand in the middle I don't know whether the the spine here is gonna get destroyed or something w w will the paper get ripped so I rather just just secure it a little bit because it's already end of the book and stuff so I think it would be so much easier 
my next step is to add the book pages as our background as our covering like I wouldn't like to just paint over this because I love the idea of having vintage book as my background for the page so rather than painting and then thinking of what to do on the background just stick the page and you have it all done and dusted and you don't have to worry about it so I'm gonna just jump in with the book page and music notes page as well old book page and music notes as well as that love these pages I absolutely love these pages I think the most often used thing for me is the um, the old book pages in indeed i think so i think i love the most the the music notes to be used the mag not not necessarily magazine but old book pages some people says oh Marta, this is destroying the book no it's quite opposite it's actually doing something with stuff that people no longer need they probably throw it away and stuff like that so i don't agree with the kind of idea when people says oh it's destroying it is not I don't agree on that the only thing is with the spine right now as you can tell because oopsie because things are on the edge it's gonna be difficult to it's gonna be not straight and you know what that's okay I won't be too much worried about it let's just leave it as it is oh I love that so it's gonna be mix and match and maybe I'm just gonna add on the edges I would love you to try this project for three reasons is it three reasons well let's count the reasons the reasons why you should try this project one it is project that you can really use whatever you have on hand because I'm pretty sure that in your house somewhere you have all the book pages if not vintage of this kind you most definitely have some kind of old book pages right so that's main reason like just really use what you have right now and um, because I'm sure you have some old book pages right another reason is that the scrapbook paper I'm sure you also own some and those are that you can use for the background for the tiles this is also old it could be old uh, paper because my my papers are a good few years old now all these like I have them in the studio maybe for the last four years four or five years if not longer I can't remember but they are not brand new papers and I encourage you to use your old paper papers like use what you already have and I think this is just fantastic hello Emily yes hi, hi. question to mama uh, Emily is actually baking today she's doing what do you do Chop Chocolate chip, chocolate chip cookies I'm actually very excited and she's loving chocolate chip cookies the most I like them as well but she's the hugest fan of it what's up Mika I just need to ask you if this is if this is like good to use yeah. okay give me one second I'm gonna uh, glue this down that ripped by accident actually perfectly funny enough so I'm gonna just Amy glue this down and I'll be to you right back one second oops I told you I'm gonna rip it I knew it it's okay we will add the other oh I can do it like that or maybe even like that do you know what it doesn't matter guys because truthfully something is gonna go on top of that you know like in the middle it's gonna be either the the design of the the the, the flower or something so not to be too much stress over it look it's I knew it it's old book pages so they're gonna rip and guys that's okay so we have two re two reasons one you have old book pages two you have old scrapbook papers I had to sniff the the sugar uh, because the brown sugar smells differently to the white sugar and Emily wasn't too sure if the brown sugar is actually still okay but it's perfectly fine there is the specific beautiful smell of brown sugar which I totally love so we have two reasons I mentioned you have old book pages you have old book fast forward no go back old book pages old scrapbook paper and I'm pretty sure you have some kind of focal point whether it's a flower whether it's a butterfly whatever oh I love I'm gonna use that as well oh wow I love that I only wanted to use this but this is gonna be you see because we have things lying around 
you can sometimes just accidentally discover something rather amazing and that's what I'm thinking. Wow, yes, I'm gonna use that just like this, I think. I love it. I absolutely adore this now. Okay, super. Um, what's next, guys? Well, next is to create our tiles. Because if you look at the project, the tile project, we have tiles, right? We have little tiles, little bigger tiles and the focal and the focal point. This is our focal point and the tiles and a little bit of a title. And I love that beautiful imagery. I love the elements. So that's exactly what we're going to do. However, our focal point this time is going to be way bigger. I'm fussy cutting this uh, body. Butterfly. It is weird because it's cut out, right? It's not full. But I think it's also good to know that, you know what, you can use, hopefully, <laughs> hopefully, you can really use whatever you have on hand, even if something is not fully, like it's your own design. So you can decide whether this is, maybe it's intentional that this butterfly is covered or we can do it like this, imagine, could be covered of this kind. No, I, I like the idea of this being on the bottom and this somehow there or I don't know yet I don't know yet but I just love it we need our tiles right how are we gonna do it hmm I guess uh, we also have to think about the color that will match I think what I will do is I'm gonna just grab the bigger scissors like this just go There we go, because I have only a small cutting machine, <laughs> so I'm gonna be just improvise. No, I'm gonna improvise and make little, little. There we go. So I need to straighten that just a little bit, so we don't need this bit. It's not straight, and same for this one where I cut the, cut it by hand. There we go. Is it is it straight now? It's not. <laughs> That's so funny. Maybe now it's straight. It is. Look, it's not that it has to be straight. But I like it. In this particular project, I sort of like it. Let's see how big, small our squares are going to be. I think the smaller sort of squares are looking cuter. I think. But then again, it's everyone's personal choice and yeah, exactly that. So let's see. So we have two of these. I'm going to do the same thing with this paper. And I love... What? One second. I love the idea of using this frame. I no longer use the big cutting machine because my one does not work. Well, it does, but it's not it's not great and it takes so much space and it's half broken. So I just I just oops. I just stopped using it to be honest, you know. Oh, we can use two sides. I love that. So we can have one of this and one of that. No. How about using this? This is pretty. And that little frame could be nice. Maybe, let's see, like this. Maybe we can make them tiny smaller. Now, again, <laughs> I'm not telling you the sizing of those squares because it's not about the sizing of those squares, right? It's more of it to match up the rest and all. Now, I'm thinking as well to cut this one. I think this could be lovely. If not, maybe. How about this green? Hmm, that could be nice. We have some kind of fairies there. Maybe. Maybe I will just do it like this part of it and you're not gonna believe I, I'm just thinking what's that noise upstairs it's Emily she went with her baking tools to do the upstairs so I'm like what's going on there upstairs she is actually decided to not make the noise while I record how cute I think this could be nice. We shall see. I think it can be very nice. Mm -hmm. And maybe 
has to make straight and this is bigger I think bigger smaller could be cute as well I don't know if you can hear those weird noises <laughs> that's so funny okay let's move this closer here let's have a sort of composition mm, mm, composition build but before that I need something underneath it maybe like this at least okay let's have just a just a trial just a play uh -huh. this is maybe maybe here because it's heavier maybe like that this maybe like that okay this this it's just um sort of it's, it's totally pure trial uh, i'm not playing anything until i add the flowers we will know so back to our three reasons old book pages old scrapbook papers and any focal point then the other reason is i'm sure that you have a pen to outline stuff and i'm sure you have white uh, to do splashes white and black paint to do splashes that's all we're gonna need today it's gonna be literally maybe white just as well and literally that's it uh, because honestly you don't need a lot to be creative i promise you now this feels weird because it's bigger here let's see what if we're gonna just jump in with the bigger elements and then one second maybe like this kind and same for here we could have this one go in there maybe like that it's moving obviously because of the books are not being straight but i just want to have a little play i wonder if you if you have scrapbook papers that you don't necessarily like that you're thinking oh no what i'm gonna do with it well then cut it look cut it smaller that's what i'm thinking bigger in the middle and smaller going outwards outwards that's not even a word like like here stuff going smaller so that we can have a little bit of a play with those squares and even smaller squares can go on top of each other and things like that oh i love this oh i actually super love this now Mm -hmm. maybe like that but this can give us a little bit of oh this is nice I like that let's see in theory I'm not too sure I like that frame how about oh there we go turning this so it's less busy much more delicate let's see like that oh wow I love this however this is a little too busy as for my liking so let's leave this how about adding our butterfly to the play here and how about cutting this in half will that be weird will that be too much let's see what if we cut this one in some kind of half let's see Hmm. <laughs> well, okay. So then we have this gorgeousness going here, and this goes there and looks lovely. And it's much, it's smaller, so it's not as busy feeling uh, for the for the for this thing. I love it actually. I do love it. I do like it. I'm just trying to think if that's exactly what we could have here. Of course, when we glue it, I love it actually. Of course, when we, I'm going to take this as it is, which is like that, because I don't want to forget it. I'm going to start gluing down. Of course, when we start outlining, gluing down and all, things will just look different. And we're going to also start adding a little bit of white gesso going on. Let me just move this aside. Uh, I'm going to start with, look, with just this small element and just add, and just add into the page. So we're starting with the small element here going. Then I'm thinking this big one could be, yeah, this 
big one will be next all the grays kind of thing I don't know if you can hear the <laughs> noises Emily makes uh, upstairs it's actually quite funny it's so cute that she she just went upstairs to make noise there and still make the cake without me <laughs> make the cookies without disturbing and Hannah and daddy uh, they are in town dad went to bank and it happens that I need to go there as well so I'm gonna be making this one right now and then on try to do things on top of each other and then I need to go to bank as well so Lucas is gonna come over for me so whenever he comes I'm gonna pause the video then because the bank said that there's two of us needed uh, for this thing <laughs> I can't tell you but it doesn't matter it's a good thing I can only tell you it's a very good thing it's nothing to be worried but there has to be two of us um, yeah that's what we were told and it's gonna be faster and better and more secure and blah 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 that's all I can say <laughs> so once Lucas is gonna come uh, Hannah is gonna stay with Emily and I'm gonna jump in cook for five minutes and come back to you I I have to say I love the idea that we've done canvas in the last video you loved it as well like tons of you loved it then we have two, pr two videos previous that we've done the gorgeousness pages two different pages and now the collage and tiles is back uh, and I, I kind of have a feeling that you are loving it because you have mentioned it already that you wish collagen tiles so if that's true if that's true then I'm super happy then I'm thinking what to record next uh, because I'm trying to make true all your dreams basically maybe some card making uh, I'm about to make two cards privately as in one for the 40th birthday and one for the wedding uh, so I'm thinking maybe I will record both of these uh, both of these um, projects although these are private project if you know what I mean like not for the video projects but projects that uh, I'm gonna be handing a 40th birthday of our Mm, neighbor and we have a group uh, a group present and I said I'm gonna make a card which I think it's lovely so um that's a challenge right <laughs> that's a challenge okay I love this so much oh I love this I love it all of it I love it all I love it all um, and the wedding as well I have some papers already prepared I'll show you I have like this on the side all this weddingish feel uh, to the project for the card so all weddingish <laughs> wedding so I'm kind of getting there um, so yes so tell me would you like me to record these two videos of the 40th birthday card and oh, I love that here and the wedding one as well let me know because maybe that's something you wish to see let me know however I know that the cards are I don't know this seems to be not a very much uh, in people's favorite um, so I don't know I don't want to bore you with my videos you know but if you'd say yes for cards big time big time big time then you know I may do that now let's see this is gorgeousness I so love it I so love it I think I may change the position composition to butterfly here then to um, to this one maybe thanks Emily for going upstairs I was like what is going on there I couldn't figure it out it just only occurred me like a, a minute in the in the process of you using the mixer I was like oh the mixer Emily went to mix it upstairs so thanks for that Emmy okay so that's here or we go back to the original we, oh I love that I think this <laughs> feels somehow better I ah, yes oh wow I absolutely love it I think I'm gonna yeah I'm gonna jump in with this one maybe there so that we have this going on in there so sometimes it's good to place your place your focal point in 
then you see what else you're missing or what you can add and stuff like that so I'm thinking this maybe oh, I love these I love this background because it is such a freeing way of creating you know you can do however it feels right you can use whatever feels right and yeah just just go for it just create however it feels good use the papers that you wish so you have at least five reasons to create this project uh, another reason is it is for beginners I think honestly for those who never ever ever made any journal page it is the one of the good reason it is for beginners for sure it is really for everyone but it's for beginners especially like creating background of this kind it's doable for everyone so I, I hope that's enough reasons for you to try it out I really hope now we need another maybe I'm trying to use that glue <laughs> um, so you need papers you need old book pages maybe or magazines you need some glue um, another reason is that honestly you can get rid of stuff like you can really on this background get rid of things you don't like the papers you don't like not only the that you don't use but get rid of stuff you know and also you can um, you can uh, create <laughs> seriously you can create and add any kind of focal point you wish imagine this could be a person this could be a heart this could uh, yeah look the previous video had hearts the previous project had hearts in the so you can use butterfly you can use a flower you can use bird you can use a sun you can use a house like your background is so simple that anything will match and as long as you go kind of safe in colors then you can have a pop pop of color and pop of this gorgeous this butterfly is from antiquario my paper pad if you're wondering I actually never told you this i love the half kind of butterfly i don't mind i really don't mind i'm trying to see if i have more butterflies than i do and i'm trying to see if we add more we could we could because we we actually could or we could oh i have an idea I have an idea which is this butterfly on top of here I don't know and from leftover paper this one is not as striking because it's like underneath it or something but look this could easily go here and we're gonna have I don't know if you can hear Emily she's gone again to do the <laughs> mixing for the chocolate chip cookies uh, so I'm thinking for adding that because it's gonna give us a closure you don't have to like it's a great way to use endings of the paper because that's another reason look use your endings a lot of times scrapbook paper has design on the side on the edge of the paper like here and you don't know necessarily what to use it for how because it's the end it's the edge right well there you go that's what you can do with it you just mix and match two different edges as if this is one and that's a great idea as well to to use the edge of the paper to use the scrapbook paper in a new way kind of mm, let's just have this one look I think so no not that I think so I'm sure so <laughs> however this oh I love this way more so maybe we could have this one here this one there and I have one more butterfly oh it is so cute this one is gonna be straight because I love that it's straight and I love that it's so big and I love it all so like this kind and then we could have it to to balance the composition here and that's another one there and then another one like this oh I love it however it's four we need one more but oh look I found it in the pink color we need one more butterfly somewhere here anywhere will work I mean voila I love it let's glue this down we have our elements and that's our that's our main thing right now focus on gluing our elements where to place them exactly how the comp composition should be this glue is just too gluey <laughs> it is way too gluey so oopsie no I just ripped it but hopefully nobody noticed and only me <laughs> there we go in the middle of the page exactly that's perfectly that's perfectly it then this one sure yes you can see but you have to trust me that I'm <laughs> gluing this 
There we go. Don't rip it, Marta. Just be gentle on your pages, on your paper. Oh no, just be gentle. Okay, there we go. Voila. Love this. Super, super, super pretty. Um, This one, the top part, it's gonna be... There we go. Oopsie. The top part and can go... I think... Nearly as if it's planned like that. No, no. Let's have it like... Yeah, exactly, without this one. <laughs> and yes, something like that. We need to think for how this is going to be closing. Obviously, it's going to be ripping somehow. But that's like, it's... I mean, that's how it is. Because it's such a difficult moment in the book. And thick paper, so I won't be worried. If it's going to be... It's, it's gonna be difficult to close it afterwards, it's okay. The, the book is so thick that no wonder, you know, it's no surprise there. Okay, and then adding this one as well somehow. Oh, I love it so much. Gorgeousness, super pretty. I love it, I absolutely adore this. Now, I think this could be nice there. Question is like that. No, like that, in the, into the butterfly, I think, as if they are talking to each other somehow, if that makes any sense. I think like this would be nice. Mm -hmm. Then we have this one, we can have this one, where we have, or maybe this one, this one, and, oh, oh, I love that. Oh. One second. Our next step will be to add some white gesso and that's gonna be just here at the edges of our um, squares, rectangles and all. And that's for it to kind of make this more visible, standing out and just to make it, I don't know, a little bit, I don't know, a little bit something. However, it is already nice even without that gesso. But I'm just thinking to do a little bit of, like, make this more visible, make this more, I don't know, interesting, and just bring the standing out of these elements, at least some of them elements. And I think it's gonna be very nice like that. And I'm just using white gesso, but if you don't have white gesso, please use... Uh, white acrylic no problem please use white um, watercolor paint no problem and here as well I love 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 that you're not gonna believe it it's so cold today in Ireland like really I mean cold for me at least that I have my winter boots out my winter uh, home boots uh, I'll show you them one second you won't believe it there you go a little proof of my winter boots I have them on there you go with the <laughs> Four. This is my. This is what I'm having, and it's it's probably not as cold as it feels to me because Hannah was in the shorts and Emily's in 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 the short sleeves and all. It's like me. I'm really cold. Um. So yeah, basically, <laughs> I just had to get my winter boots out, and they were laughing. It's August, and I said season winter um winter season officially opened for me because I I just love my winter boots, you know, as well. Okay, now, because we haven't add any uh, clear gesso on top, obviously, um, everything is not that movable, but that's okay. White gesso kind of can be a little movable, I think, or not. Possibly not. On the white gesso, on the clear gesso, that would be so much better. I'm just trying to see if I can have a little bit of less strokes visible. Probably too late I could be a little bit faster no, it's nothing wrong with that it's just just a little bit of making this more making this more mm. I think Emily's cutting the chocolate if you can hear it okay I love that gorgeousness now I'm thinking as well last time we've done this gray ink on our canvas do you remember our canvas if you haven't seen it, please go and check it out. 
a beautiful canvas. I link you that as well. I link you the two collagen tiles projects and I link you this one. That's the recent video that I posted and we have added this and I just loved it and I think we're gonna do the same for here. However, before that, I would love to do a little bit of outlining with our my favorite of all, where's the name? GTEC Pilot GTEC C4. I'll give you a link as well. It is my go to, it is my absolute favorite of all. So let's grab that and let's have a doodle around our elements because the collagen tiles looks way better and we know that it's collage and know that it's tiles because we are outlining that as well and it brings us, gives us this feel of the squarish rectangularish um touch feel to the project so as you can tell and i'm also uh, gonna um add a little outline to the project itself to the focal point itself just a little bit but i'm gonna focus more on the um, squares and also i wish you to see i'm gonna show you a trick that i love recently so i'm gonna be focusing on the squares but also in the cent in the middle middle parts like in in here i'm gonna be adding a little bit more extra of the like here of the darker doodles i hope you can tell i hope you can see that I absolutely love and adore this project. I love the colors. I love how simple that is. I love all these eight reasons. I found eight reasons for you to be able to create this project. One, I'm pretty sure you do have old papers, right? So old papers. Two, I'm sure you have old scrapbook papers. And three, I'm sure you have scrapbook papers that you don't know how to use and the collage in tiles, the background, it's a perfect opportunity. Then you have papers that you don't uh, like anymore. I'm pretty sure you have papers like that. So it's great for the background. Use the papers you don't like. Five, I'm sure you have scissors, right? You have scissors and you have glue. That's our number five reason. And book, well, book you don't have to have it. You can do exactly the same thing on the page itself. Then the pen, I'm sure you have any sort of if you don't have this pen, look, you can outline it as well and try to do a little bit of stuff going on with the pencil or with the black, uh, black dark crayon as well. This one is gray, but I'm sure you have black, 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 black. There we go. We have black pencil. You can use that. So black pen or black pencil, that's fine. Uh, the papers with the edges design. I'm sure you have papers with the edge design and you don't know how to use it. Use your edge. Look how gorgeous that is. I think it looks fantastic that it's actually chopped. It's different. It's quirky. It's it's unique. It's special and it's very brave as well to use that. Two cut out designs. I think it's gorgeous as if he fly from if he was hiding and fly out from that um yeah and the last one black and white paint i'm sure you have it either gesso or paint for the splashes that we're going to add in the middle those are eight super simple reasons that you have to create this page with me please promise me to try pause this video play it in the background get some papers and just try it with me my success on youtube channel here for the many many years if i can call it success and correct me if i'm wrong but i think the success of this youtube not success as if i'm rock star but a success of these videos and this youtube channel in particular the fact that so many people have subscribed to this channel is because i have been chatting with you creating with you and encouraging you so i'm gonna do the same today please pause this video if you trust me if you don't know me please give it a chance give it a go trust me pause the video get the basic supplies we're talking about some focal point some scrapbook papers and old book pages and really that's it glue scissors like i mean seriously limited amount of supplies pause the video and do it with me please go for some color scheme like vintage old book pages as well that they don't seem to be so difficult to work with when you have such a delicate color a color scheme like the brown like here you can be sure that you're not gonna fail in the color combo so let's say if you go for some kind of 
normal color scheme. I'm adding some lines as well on my this on my drawings here on the focal point. Why not? If you have been afraid, you have to try it out because the basic color um, combo like vintage brown old book pages, it's gonna work always. Promise, I promise you that. Trust me. Just go for those minimalistic color selection as well. You be perfectly fine this color that I'm talking the vintage the old book pages uh, and look when I'm doodling I'm talking to I'm not even thinking of what I'm doing I'm just going with it just here and there here and there and just give it myself a permission to just be creative and not worry about the oh will that be perfect oh no just just swish swish just just go for it just just do it you know Lastly, we need some water. We need some. Mm, do, 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 do. <laughs> we need some brushes, and we have it. Okay, brush for the black. Black. Uh, I have this. This is just my watercolor palette that I have mm, accumulated over the past months. It's different. Three different brands here, I think. Some. Some of them are Schmitzke. 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 I don't know the name. How to spell it? How to. Schmitzke. Schmitzke. I don't know, Schmitzke. So some of them are Schmitzke, some of them are handmade and more handmade. So it's a mixture, I don't know, oh, well, this is Schmitzke. The shiny one are Schmitzke, the less, oops, less shiny are not Schmitzke. <laughs> Sorry if I'm completely mistaken the name. Uh, black, black, black here. I'm, I'm focusing my black on... Did I just shout? I'm sorry if I did. I'm focusing my black where the black is. So kind of like because my butterfly is so dark, sort of the darkestish element, this is where my black are gonna land. This is what I'm doing. I'm just thinking we didn't add any words. Maybe I'm gonna add word in a second. So I have just a watercolor for my splashy. Why not? You can certainly do that. And I'm thinking this end as well a little bit because there's darker there. So I think it would be so phenomenal to just play this darker um, sort of game here also and here also. I love it. So we're not going everywhere crazy with splashy, splashy, splashy everywhere. No. Let's be just uh, thinkful about where we're gonna place the even the silly splashes, that is that is making a difference, believe it or not. So there we go. And the white that I'm thinking, I'm going to grab a clean one, clean water. I have plenty water, I have plenty little jars. And the white one, I also have watercolor, but I'm going to skip it because I don't have too much of it. But I have my forever favorite calligraphy ink. Mm, and it is not that good <laughs> anymore because I added diluted with too much water so I need to get a new one because it was too thick you know I just need to get a new one I think and maybe mix it or something it's still working but I think it's well it's mm, de definitely easier to make splashes right now with it because it is um, diluted which it was way too thick but I think I over diluted it so anyway uh, go back to the chat so I'm adding the white elsewhere everywhere else which is the delicate sort of uh, feel to the rest of the page where we haven't added the the white and also the black and also in the on the page itself we're doing like yes we have like literally like a snowy a snowing effect on uh, the page so if you're finding those eight simple reasons to create oh to create your page look i forgot about this one <laughs> i have my gray i'm gonna keep it here near me so i'm thinking it is gonna be just gorgeousness am i right it is i think it's gonna just give this lovely touch of um of like a finished touch of like defining the page I think I honestly think it's gonna be lovely I don't want this to be too dark and too defined and too of everything I just wish a touch because this is gray as well and I think this is gonna be just adding this lovely um, it's gonna be just connecting everything it's it, it's gonna feel as if it's finished you know and I'm a huge fan of vintage edging. However, I'm not fan of this super brown vintage edging. So I think this gray is actually super answer. However, I hope that Tim will make, or maybe it's already there, some vintage, but not so brown vintage. Because so far what I tried, the vintage photo, it's too brown. Then the walnut stain is very dark. 
but it, and it's also very brown. So something in between gray and brown would be phenomenal. Something less, less brown, vintage but less brown, more dirty. Something in between brown and gray. I hope if if you know of any of this kind of ink that I don't own, I'm sure I don't because I have very little inks to what's already there on the market from the in distress inks. But if you have the name. Please, you can leave me the comment, your favorite vintage inky ink for you to, to use on your projects. I can't believe it that that took us no time. Honestly, I started this when Lucas left for uh, for the town with Hannah and he did not back it. Oopsie, that's okay. They're not back yet and I'm telling you, it did not back yet. They are going to be back in a minute, but I'm telling you, this took me literally no time is it an hour video it's gonna be or less uh, without even editing much honestly so I suggest you to just grab something because it is such a, a therapeutic as well idea of our journaling because you have you have your like base get your squares get your rectangles listen to Marta blabbly blabbly blabbing and just do it promise me can you promise me that please do okay how about the title do we have enough time for title? Do we have a need for title? Oh, it's the little things that make life big. Oh, I love that. And it's so true, you know? And these uh, words are from Paper World, I think. I'm going to give you as well a link to that one. Oh, I love it. And outline that as well with this. Oh, wow. Um, yeah, sometimes I like to just be a little bit crazy there we go oh wow guys friends my beautiful friends i think emmy is chopping the the dark chocolate still i can hear it chop, chop, chop. my beautiful friends i'm gonna finish here thank you so much for watching for this super quick video promise me to try collagen tiles it is just gorgeousness and it's a wonderful opportunity to just be creative without any pressure and no stress eight simple reasons why you should try our journaling with me so thank you so much for watching i hope you liked it enjoy it let me know your thoughts um yeah till the next time happier journaling and i speak to you very soon i love you i'm just about to make photos for the project and my emily brought them here and she said i'm gonna share them with you that's her favorite by the way these are like m&ms but uh, a different brand little brand if you've never tried them you have to but let me show the gorgeousness project as well Bye. Bye-bye.